Uh, yeah. That's right. You got to hope for the best. Truth hurts. Okay. Now, if you're on Twitter 24-7, which I assume most of you are, and you know a guy that you don't know named Nate Solon. Nate Solon's from Michigan, so I've known him since he was like nine. And he's probably 40 now. So I've known, I've known Nate, and I know his dad also. His dad was an economics professor at University of Michigan and then Michigan State University. First one, then the other. Gary Solon. And he wrote an important paper showing that people are rich because their family is rich, not because they worked hard. And people didn't like that. They're like, oh, no, I, I work really hard. That's why I'm rich. I deserve it. Not because, you know, my family gave me millions when I was a kid. That's, that's not why anybody's rich. Dumbasses. Okay. And anyway, this position's equal. White has no advantage. However, White has one advantage I did not disclose. Right, sweetie? Mm -hmm. And that advantage is 200 rating points. So he went from completely equal to up 47 pieces and just eight more moves. Man, that's huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Truth hurts. Yeah. Okay. So he went from classy to ashy pretty quickly. Right, sweetie? Who? Um, I don't know. I can't say his name. Anyon? No idea what country he's from either. Can I have a cord for my phone? Well, it's over here. I have to, like, give you the cord. I mean, it won't reach there. Okay, you can just plug it in. In fact, it's unplugged. Somebody unplugged uh, it's it. Too bright. Oh, wait, this one's, this one's plugged. You have to give me your phone, and then I'll plug it in. Mm -hmm. Did it work? Oh, it's, you mean it's dead. Okay, yeah, it's working. Okay. All right. Uh, he's bigly smart. Renga87 subscribed. Thank you. So I've been streaming 44 minutes, no trains. Yeah, truth hurts. I had to, um, yeah, put my sweater. Yeah, I know. Okay. Now, let's see how Tomaszewski racked up the point. Okay, so in this position, the engine says A5 is equal. And he played queen B2, the faux aggressive move. He's like, rawr, I'm threatening stuff. I'm threatening to trap my own queen. All right, Tomaszewski said, get your queen out of there. And unfortunately, he went there. God damn. If he played here, he's slightly worse. But okay, this is like crazy like Fox News. So now he's already losing because that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. All right. Queen E3 exclam. And you know where Tomaszewski learned this move? He learned it from his opponent. Yeah. Remember how his opponent went here? Mm -hmm. He wanted to go there and the rook's trapped. Mm. That's a funny way to, right? That, mm -hmm. that, okay. So the guy didn't want to lose his rook. He played the best move, queen a5. Now, if you go here, queen b6. Right? Anyway, that was a great maneuver. Here, 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 blah. All right, c5, trapping the queen again. Now the queen's trapped. The best move is rook here. Ugh. Okay, he took, which is a blunder, knight e5. God damn. Now, I would like to point out that that's a really good bishop. Remember when I said at the beginning Black should have played a5? See, then, you know, good bishop. Then he could have played e5 at some point, but now he can't do anything. He can't move these pawns, can't move his bishop, doubled white pawns, queen is trapped. Horrible. Okay, c4, that's explosive, right? Mm -hmm. Knight c4, now he gets his queen out. Well, I thought he would, but he didn't. Bam! Attacking the c pawn. Remember when I said black would play queen b6 when the queen was on a5? Well, now he can't play queen b6 because the knight's stopping it. Okay. So he played e5, finally getting his bishop out, except for one thing. Rook d5, trapping the queen. 
frankly, ridiculous. And Black saw that. He had a trick ready. You know why his trick didn't work? No. Oh, come on, I say it a lot. I, I don't know. Tricks are for kids. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So queen takes c6. Ready for his trick? Okay. Queen takes b8. Whites up a rook. All right. And now the trick. Bishop h3 threatening the queen. See how it threatens the queen? Mm -hmm. If the queen moves, I take the bishop and the rook's hanging. Uh -uh. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, who first recommended bishop h3? Um... Go train. Mm -hmm. I'll thank some people while you're doing that. Um, itchy Chimera. Thanks for being itchy. I wonder what Scratchy would say. Itchy Chimera keeps gifting subs. Uh, Jernamora Gerge said, why would you pronounce my name so wrong? And so forth. Shirov is correct. They said Shirov. Mm. Okay. Now, you will know Tomaszewski's name is the Lord when you see this next move. This is the greatest move ever. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Knight E3 resigns. Remember how I said Black wanted to take this and then mm -hmm. take that? Well, that he defended it. And the Queen's attacked. So that these pieces are all safe. And he's up a rook. If you if you take the rook, hoping 999, thanks, sorry, Kelly. If you take this, hoping for this, mm -hmm. you, first of all, you still lose because your bishop's hanging. But I could play a desperado. I take the rook with check first and whites up a rook. I like the way when you don't play, you still win because the bishop on h3 is hanging. So after knight e3, the engine says white is plus eight. But that was an equal position. And then eight moves later, black had no pieces left. Okay, and that's and 200 points low rated. It's harsh. And also, Tomaszewski won the first game, so he won 2-0. This game didn't take very long. That's why you've heard of Tomaszewski, and you I, never heard of that guy or know what country he's from or anything. Teach him. Yeah. Yeah, knight e3 is really good. Defends every rook, attacks the queen, defends the bishop a little, which doesn't need defending. Great. 